Hello everybody. This video is an overview of a new plugin designed to visualize G-code, more precisely, the path of movement of the tool set by the G-code commands. The plugin is located on the test tab. It supports working with multiple files. You can open files using this button. Or by dragging them into the program window. Open files are displayed in the upper part of the plugin window. The toolpaths generated by them are displayed in the scene. The contents of the selected file are displayed in the central part of the window. At the moment, the plugin supports the basic movement commands G0, G1, G2, and G3, and also commands for manipulating the coordinate system G90, G91. Absolute and Relative Coordinate Systems G50, G51, Scaling G20, G21, Inches or Millimeters For ease of perception, the idle is displayed in gray. The working stroke is displayed in a color specific to each individual file. The color of the file can be customized here. You can also turn off or turn on the display of some files. Next, you can select a line in the file for analysis. The corresponding part of the toolpath will be highlighted. And the following information about it will be displayed at the bottom of the window. Its begin and end points. Length. And feed rate. If the selected path part is poorly visible, you can focus the camera on it using this button. You can also scroll a selected line by buttons arrow up and arrow down or clicking on toolpath part in the scene. For ease of selection, when the mouse approaches the toolpath, the part closest to it will be highlighted. Also, you can convert the selected toolpath into object lines using this button. Finally, the plugin has several visualization settings, which can be found here. You can set up next parameters. The width of the lines. The colors of the selected and highlighted toolpath sections. Enable or disable the display of the feed rate by the color brightness gradient. And also the accuracy when searching for the nearest toolpath section. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find this tutorial helpful. See you soon.